Here I'll show you the reasons why the certificates when you try to use them on the Windows systems or Windows servers shows uh, untrusted even when you have them imported into your trusted root store and uh, on my screen you can see I have two certificates CA underscore one CA underscore two I'll quickly show you the certificate status so this is the uh, certificate CA underscore one it is a self-signed CA certificate and in the certificate path if you see the status of the certificate it shows the issuer of this certificate could not be found and this is the certificate number two CA underscore two this is again a CA certificate self-signed and the certificate path you can see here untrusted so what I'll do is I'll try to import the CA underscore one and try to show you the reason why this certificate may not be trusted I'll try to import both the certificate into the trusted root store so this is the uh, cert manager and this is the trusted root store certificates let me try to import them so I'm going to import the first certificate which is CA1 and I am placing it in this particular into this particular trusted root certificate authorities uh, list you can see this is the certificate and now if I check the status of the certificate again it still shows that the issuer of the certificate could not be verified well is that the uh, Windows machine issue we'll try to figure out by importing the second certificate and see if that is being trusted or not so I'm going to import the CA2 so CA underscore 2 is imported and this is the certificate let me try to show you the status now so you can see here this particular certificate is being trusted by the system however the CA1 is still showing as untrusted and the reason is issuer of the certificate could not be found well for troubleshooting purpose you will have to check the details of this particular certificate let me try to keep them side by side so that I can show you the reason why this particular issue is happening on the window system so click on details in the details you will see in the details if you come down you will see the first issue which is version 1 so many a times the uh, version 1 certificate generated by any of the uh, tools like OpenSSL or any window utility will not be trusted by the window system and here you can clearly see the difference one is version 1 another one is version 3 and scrolling down to the bottom if you see here there are certain important uh, attributes missing here for example the basic constraint well this particular attribute is checked by the system to understand what kind of certificate it is and what could be the intention of this particular certificate so in the basic constraint you will see if it is a CA certificate or if it is a server certificate so for example the second certificate that you see on my screen shows that it is a CA certificate but if you see the left hand side which is the CA underscore one this particular constraint is missing so so it is a best practice to always uh, include basic constraint where the system will be able to understand what kind of certificate it is if it is a CA certificate or if it is a server certificate another attribute would be the key usage and the extended key usage 
which will then um, provide information to the system on the purpose of the certificate, whether it is used for client authentication or server authentication or something else. And um, let us try to check those details as well. So you can see here, there are certain key usage attribute here which is certificate signing, offline CRL signing, CRL signing. So this is the constraint that I was talking about and there are uh, extended key usage as well. This is the enhanced key usage which is code signing. So it is always uh, recommended to include uh, certain attributes like basic constraint, key usage, extended key usage so that the system can understand the type of certificate that you're trying to import. So summarizing, this particular certificate is not being trusted by the system because of the missing attributes like basic constraint, key usage, and you can see the version as well. So make sure you generate the certificate with the um, version latest and try to include the basic constraint, key usage, etc so that the system can trust that certificate. That's all in this video. Um, if you have any question, do leave them in the comment section. And please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button.